Now I want to invite the uh, last presentation in the third session. The title of the speech will be Ghost of the Caribbean, Recent Research on El Angle Shipwreck, a 19th century composite hull sailing mercantman in Chincoro Bank, Mexico. The research was prepared by Laura Carrillo, Nicolas Tiarlo, Andreas Zuccolotto, Joshua Guzman. I'm inviting uh, the speaker to pre present their presentation. Okay, well, I am Josue Guzman. I will present this, this presentation on behalf of, of Laura Carrillo, Nicolas Charlo, and Andres Zucoloto. All right, okay. Um, the El Angel shipwreck is located in the, in, the, in the Caribbean Sea, in the Mexican coast, in the Eastern coast. Uh, here is the, uh, Here's the, the, the Chinchorro Bank is a false atoll with, um, with the El Angel shipwreck situated in the, in the, in the southern uh, edge. A Chinchorro Bank is important uh, since nautical considerations, at least since, ex since 16th century. As you can see, uh, Chinchorro Bank, also known as North Triangles in the historical record, is uh, located between the 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 the, the, um, the, the, the British colonies in Jamaica and the Spanish Spanish territories of Cuba and Yucatan. The trade winds from the east. Excuse me. Are you in the first slide or second slide? Oh, uh, the. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can you can see the presentation now. I am in the. Um, in the four, in, in the four, uh, the five slide, slide. Yes, please continue. Uh, thank you. Um, all right. As you can see, uh, historical sailing roads had been documented for 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 this time uh, from the modern era, and Chinchorro Bank is almost in the on the on the on the track of this sailing road. All right. Uh, El Angel shipwreck site. It's, uh, it's located at uh, the maximum depth of 12 meters in a tropical coral reef environment. Indeed, before uh, we start uh, to excavate the, the shipwreck, the shipwreck itself, uh, we relocate all the, 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 the coral, the, uh, the coral and the living organism. Well, this, this shipwreck is very, it's very clear uh, from the surface because his, his hull is outlined uh, for the sheet sheathing uh, edges, as you can see in the in the in the in the photo mosaic in the right, uh, well, you have you, you see the bow, the the upper part of, in the upper part of the slide, and a diver as a scale. The observable uh, length of this shipwreck is 35.5 meters, with a maximum breadth of nine to 10 meters. It's interesting that on the surface level, in the bottom, in the sea bottom. There is uh, many many uh, material culture associated with nautical activities scattered. It. In the bow section, we have uh, an anchor, uh, bur uh, anchor, anchor chain, capstan wheels, and other material artifacts. Amidships, uh, we, we we found um, shroud chains and bricks. At the stern, large cubic shaped iron containers and a pile of removed ballast rocks. It's an evidence of well prior looting on, on, the, on the shipwreck. This is a, a picture of, a, of the from the from the bow port. Of the, you are still in the fifth slide. Oh, I'm so sorry, my, my, my mistake. All right. Well, this this is the the, the general outline of the hull, and this is a, a, a picture of the of the of the of the of the shipwreck itself. All right. Um. So sorry. La. This shipwreck has been have been uh, systematically excavated since 2013, and each each field season has been uh, progressing the, the record of the of the shipwreck. Uh, I'm so sorry. This until until now we have uh, focused on the bow on the on the bow section of the shipwreck. The first strata was the first the first uh, we found were a. a, a Cargo of logwood, hematoxylum campechanum, that was a dye for 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 the textile industry in the 19th century. It was used for for color uh, for for give color to 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 the textile works. 
Well, uh, we removed all this 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 logwood cargo, the trunks and the and, and, and the branches, and relocated in another trench we excavated ex professor. Uh, the cargo, the, the woods, the dice woods, we're covering with type Tyvek. This is a kind of special textile and a sand and sandbags. Uh, well. Uh, this is the bow section once the excavation uh, in 2018 was finished and you can see there is a lot of, of, of material culture uh, associated. First of one, uh, first of all, we have here the iron brisk hook knee giving shape to the bow of the of the of the of the, sh of the, of the ship. We have uh, clearly marked the anchor and or, or we, 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 we put this, we, we think we have the, the, the capstan wheels. Uh, architecturally, the ship is very interesting because it is following the, the 18th century wooden shipbuilding, tra shipbuilding traditions, but it presents it features uh, several iron iron reinforcements due to the industrial revolution in the first in the first half 19th century. Uh, we have here the Kilson in in a, in, in a big piece of wood and Kilson sisters. Corresponding, the number one is the, is the Logwood Cargo, number two is the Kilson, and number three is the Kilson Sister. The number four is the, is the, is the sailing of the, of the shipwreck. Uh, we have here the, the, this, this iron rider that is, it, 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 uh, it was attached to the, to the whole structure after the, the ship was built, maybe in late 19th in, in the, first, the first half of 19th century. We have see here in the in the photograph on the on the left uh, a view of this this writer. Uh, you are still uh, in the slide seven. My God. Well, I'm so sorry. I will proceed. This is the 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 general picture of the excavation at bow. This is the 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 elements of the, of the structure of the hull. The keel the keels on here. And uh, Kilson sister woods. So sorry. Here is the mark the, the the iron rider. The this this cured form here. Uh, well, we have here other the other uh, structural structural elements. I will try to to make it full screen just to illustrate better. You can see the the the, the whole stringer here. The yes, you see. Right. Okay. The this is the sailing, the sailing strikes, the double frames, and the outer outer planking. And finally, we have here the copper alloy sheathing that was a very very interesting uh, feature of this of this shipwreck, because uh, it is a, a, a chronology marker for the late 18th century or early 19th century. Here we have here the fastening pattern of the of the big copper alloy boy uh, copper alloy bolts that were you can see attached more uh, in the in the in the main woods and against the the the, the, the frames the double frames, but we have also uh, the tronels I'm sorry tronels here that is very interesting because we have no clear pattern of of fastening. Of the of the of the sailing chambers to the frame to the frames, and finally we have uh, iron bolts and iron spikes like the, like 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 this here, that as you can see well there is a kind of of pattern here just following the the the, the, the frames timbers. Interestingly, there is a lot of fastening patterns, uh, so we we can we can think. That this ship has had a very long, long life, very long service life, and it was subjected to major reparations at least uh, two or three times, maybe I, we don't know. Uh, this is clearly an indicator of this was a merchantman ship that was involved in the in the in the, in the um, uh, Caribbean traffic. Caribbean. One minute. Thank you. Yes, I am finishing. Um, and well, when when it was when it, when in, when when she sunk, we sh we sh uh, when she sunk, sorry, uh, this was a very aged, very old ship. Uh, some archaeometric studies 
that, that had been performed just to identify the, the anatomical identification of the wood. Uh, we have a larynx or, or PCF for frames, quercus for the trinals. This is, uh, this is oak, I mean. And well, the chemical identification, chemical composition identification of the, of the, of the whole sheathing by X, XRF. Um, finally, we have for record purposes, a 3D photometrical model of the rec site. And well, just to, to make some global consideration, con, uh, considerations, the shipwreck has been identified as the remnants of a wooden, wooden sailing ship. Uh, with iron and structural reinforcements and moon's metal sheathing. And this is a clear marker that the shipwreck, uh, well, the, the wreck occurred after 1832. The vessel was probably built in the second quarter of 19th century following the, the 18th century um, shipbuilding wooden traditions. And well, probably the ship will have sunk while carrying a logwood shipment, probably from Belize and bound to Europe or North America for the textile factories. Uh, well, we can we can conclude at least for uh, temporarily, provisionally, that the ship was well involved uh, within this this merging tribe into Car uh, across the Caribbean. Thus, this is uh, an actor and a testimony of this intense traffic uh, traffic maritime traffic maritime traffic between the British colonies and the European powers. And uh, well, just thank you all for your attention. We are we are we are pleased to to have your attention for this for these minutes. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your presentation.